But anyways. Uh, melee here. So we've got Diego and Kuda. I know they've been waiting forever for this. But I'd say this one's pretty Diego favored, although Kuda's been making some pretty big waves lately. Yeah, Kuda typically pretty bad at the spacey matchup, but he beat Bobby Frizz last yeah, he uh, beat so pro. Frizz. Yeah, very impressive. So he's definitely improving in it. He yeah. also 3 0 Firebolt in winners, so. Good stuff. So he pretty, knows the Falco pretty well. Pretty decent. He got oh. a lot of gimps off the edge, though. Oh, yeah. It's not too hard to do on Falco. You don't have those flames to worry about. Mostly you just watch out for that side B and that's it. Yeah, for sure. Could have, like, definitely has been improving his edge guard game against Falco. He's just been, like, running off and nearing. Ooh. And, like, needles sniping the jump out there. Really yeah, I got a chance to play Kuda in. It was like, what? Winners. Winners round two or something? Yeah, round three. Something like that. And, uh. I mean, they were close. I didn't do too bad, but it was nice to get to play him. I know he hates the spacing matchup, but it felt good. Ooh. Gets Meteor. But unfortunate. I don't think. I think there's very few people who are actually good in our scene at Meteor canceling. Mm -hmm. I don't. I've seen, like, maybe single digits and meteor cancels on Falco side B. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's tricky. It's real fast, and, like, when yeah. you get hit by it, you're not expecting it at all. You're yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna edge guard, I'm gonna give him the hands, and then suddenly you're at the bottom of the stage and you die. Like, yeah. oh, this is nice. Yeah, I think... I wish there was someone in like any scene nearby that was good at amps attacks as Sheik. That'd be crazy. They're just so strong. Yeah. And I, but like, That's if nice anybody could get good at them, there. like, improve their their game so much against Spacey. Yeah. Pretty much against anyone. Because Sheik, Sheik's just so methodical to edge guard. Mm -hmm. The only mix up is whether or not she uh, goes for like the risk it all go to ledge. Right. Possibly SDs. Kuda has this tendency when he when he does the down throw for the first one he expects they're gonna take in place, so he always charges an up smash. I hadn't noticed that before, that's pretty cool. Yeah, typically it's almost the opposite where they'll take away the first time right. and then take in place the second time. At least that was uh that was what Captain Face was ta telling me at a run to walk. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, I sort of trust him on tech chasing. Yeah, why would you trust him, though? He got fourth. <laughs> true, Losing true. to my boy, Bobby Frizz. Yeah, and Eifter. And Eifter. <laughs> South Dakota. Eifter. So I wouldn't trust him. He sounds like he's pretty bad. I mean, yeah. What kind of attack is Captain Face roll? Yeah, definitely didn't define the tech chasing <laughs> meta. Yeah, one this whole... Hit, yeah, this one give. That's pretty much this matchup. It definitely has looked like Diego has kind of controlled the whole like pace of the game yeah. with the lasers and the consistent grabs. I mean that was that was pretty close for such a low percent kill with the side B. Mm -hmm. Like if that game could have been like even in Kuda's hands if he had not had that happen to him. Yeah, for sure. Kuda definitely. I mean, he's a good player for sure, and I definitely think he can potentially take this set. But he's got to fix a couple things before he can do that. Yeah. Ooh, calls him out. Just the shield in place. Smash, yeah. I think if you on the tech away, you've got to go for the boost grab on Sheik. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I assume Kuda knows that, but he didn't go end up going for it. I haven't seen him do a boost grab before. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure he knows it, but maybe he hasn't really applied it to his game yet. Yeah, I think the only person around here that I'd say is pretty solid at uh, tech chasing is Lord, and then when Dan was here, he was fairly, very solid at it. And uh, Big DK. Oh, yeah, yeah, Big that's DK true. Big DK is really good at yeah, it. Yeah, he is very good. But moving back to Ohio, he hasn't been around. That's a bummer. Yeah. Uh, he won't be back this summer, will he? No, I don't think so. He got a job out in Ohio, then he goes to school out there. Uh. Big punish from Diego. Alright, nice little tech there. That's kind of a nice thing to be able to do with Falco for sure, because if he had been hit by that by the full force, he would have flown way off stage. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the weak, weak bear gets crowds canceled. A little slobber knocker there. <laughs> Kuda yeah. tends to do that where he'll throw out an aerial and then jab just like that. Yeah. Um, of course, it's really good. You're chic. Yeah, frame, frame three jab or frame two jab. Yeah. 
But when you start to predict it, uh, Diego's starting to understand that. That's what he's mostly going to do, and he's holding shield just a little bit longer. Yeah. Maybe get a shine out of shield. Yeah, or shield, just shield grab him. This wave land, the cost him. He's shaking his head a little bit. Maybe get a little meditation in there. He needs to pull something out here pretty quick. Nice wave land tech chase. Heck yeah, I am. RCG, what's up? Twitch chat going wild. All like <laughs> two of you. Got a couple of viewers. We had, I think, like 20 people over there. I'm not sure exactly where they went, but. That's pretty good for a SOPO. I yeah. mean, I guess this is like the special SOPO. We had. Yeah, true. How many? What? 109 total people? Yeah, wow. Is, we, that's insane. Yeah, that's crazy. We have almost 30 for PM, too. 50 for melee. Four slaps. Oh, this is my natural lap. <laughs> now I'm depressed because you think these are forced. These are real. Um, yeah, I mean, 109 people. Generally, for melee, we get about, I'd say, 30. at least 32, 36 ish. Yeah. Around there. And, I mean, these two players are often at the very top of that. Yeah. Especially Kuda lately. Yeah, for Kuda literally is making waves. I mean, the new PR is coming out here very, very soon. And, uh,. I mean, last PR we had a most improved man with a Lycan because he virtually showed up out of nowhere. Yeah. But Kuda definitely might be the most improved this time. Yeah, for sure. Kuda, uh, like, showed up earlier earlier this season and was doing really solidly and then sort of went through a period of losing to pretty much any spacey any found spacey. his bracket. <laughs> but since then, he's really improved his game. Yeah. Especially against spacey's. I mean, you know they're a solid player when they can literally beat Bobby Frizz in a set, who is arguably a top 100 player. Yeah, for sure. Although he did get first shot by Hungry Box. I always bring that up to him. It makes him feel when bad. When was that? Uh, Smash and Splash. Oh, okay. I didn't see that match. I it thought it was Kuda who played Hungry Box. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, Kuda, Kuda yeah. Kuda yeah. got first shot by Hungry Box. I mean... I feel like that matchup isn't too great for Sheik, though. No, it's horrible. It's like crouching under every single grab. I think he got, uh, in game two or game one, he got, uh, like, rested four times for every yeah. song. Yeah, <laughs> it was game two. Time. Yeah. I was in the Twitch chat repping my boy, Goku to go, and then this four stop. <laughs> Kansas yeah, four state. <laughs> I saw that as well. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't really have any puff players. Yeah, we, we had, only have one. Yeah, we had Red, Red Panda for a little while, but since then Ooh, he's moved. That was a nice conversion. If he can clean it up here, that was a real kooky angle there by Sheik. Waited a little bit long. Ooh, there go. a nice slide off with the eye. All right, good finish. Down. So Kuda's looking a bit frazzled here. Um, playing Diego is definitely one of the most stressful things. Uh, at Burger Stand, I actually took a game off him, game two. And then game three takes me to FD and just laser camps the whole time. And I'm like, oh, I hate you, Diego. Yeah. Well, at least with that matchup on FD, if you can get a grab, yeah, if you I have get the potential. In, yeah, if I get in, so I can I can give him the hands. But that's the hard part is getting a nice little uh, yeah. edge cancel there with the side B. It wasn't fruitful, though. He didn't get it down there. Yeah. And special being good enough player that he is, he knows what you want to go for. So right. he'll play around it. Mm -hmm. Play defense. He is obviously not afraid to play defensively. So that means laser camping for right. five minutes. For the win, the W. I think, uh, yeah, the last fish house, he was playing against Reesh, and he uh, laser camped Reesh at the ledge for like four minutes, about. He was at the ledge? No, Reesh was at the ledge, and he oh and uh, about, he just kept lasering over and over for like four minutes. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he's Diego is definitely on the rise um, nationally, I'd say, now. Yeah. He hasn't really made waves to where people are like posting Reddit up on a Reddit post about him. He's beat Plup and you know PM. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, really strong PM player. Yeah, especially. I think I don't know. Watching him at majors, I feel like he uh, still struggling with sort of a his uh, mind mental game mm -hmm. because he he has a lot of flubs, especially like. His set against Axe was actually very strong, but right, yeah. I think the second game or so, he was like flubbing a lot. Mm -hmm. I got a chance to talk to him about it, and what he said was that he, you know, he realized he was like, oh my god, I'm playing Axe, you know, a top 10 player in the world, and he potentially could have taken a game. He was playing really yeah. well. He took him to last stock, I think, game one. 
It was yeah. just, he was getting crazy combos. And that's a Pikachu. Like I don't I don't know how to play Pikachu. Yeah. I don't know how he does. Yeah. But Diego getting 